presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you we weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you are right. And you may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, down 264, NASDAQ up 205, S&P's up 14 and a half. Gold, gold contract trading down $12, 2,332 an ounce. We have silver down 60 cents, $29.24 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 85 cents. $80.78 an ounce. Light, uh, notes and bonds. 10 year note. Trading up three ticks. 110.20. The 30 year up eight ticks at 120.08. King dollar. King dollar right now trading up 134 ticks. 105. 607. Euro 107. Yen at a price point of 159. British pound 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 -6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, I'm going to bring up the futures first. If you just heard the update, you know where I'm coming from here. So inside the E-mini, we had out here, you have tiny consolidation. Low has been 55.11, high 55.26. That being said, you know, what we had out here is that right there. You're going to love this one, man. It, that was the test. Of yesterday. That, that, I brought this up many times before, too, that the bottom line is you always want to watch these high volume lows, period. That's the bottom line. So we had the high volume low from yesterday right before the close. Actually, it is, yeah, 10 minutes before the close. That came down to test it with lighter volume because that was a huge amount of volume, no doubt. Test with lighter volume. Now, that being said, we still have the highest volume bars at 5512. And we're at 5532. Five, so we busted the high. The high that I'm talking about is 5532. Five, well, five, five, okay, we're at 5532 five, right now. Busted the high, came down, and we came down 10 minutes, 20 minutes ago. That had some juice also. So this one here, let me look at this for a second. Okay, so that buy just finished. So we had come down with the, uh, what's that, 20? 20,000 contracts, and just went up with 14. That's telling me that we're still going lower. 60 minutes, we can go hit these lows once again. Now, that's in the S&P, not in the NASDAQ. I expect the NASDAQ to pull back, but not a big way, because this is, let me show you this. Because the NASDAQ, the NDX 100, did not get close to that high-volume bar from yesterday. So here's the high volume bar from yesterday. If you're watching Tiger TV, you can see, well, I, you know, it's interesting here, though. This gets interesting. This did test it at 0400 this morning. <laughs> That's kind of wild. Well, that being said, anyway, it, to go from where we are right now, I suspect the NASDAQ is going to come to the NDX 100. We're up 189 right now at 19. 941, and I expect we're going to go to 871. So that's 
Yeah, that's uh, 70 points lower from where we are right now. And if we get volume there, we'll go to the bottom of the bar, which the bottom of the bar is 837. Gold. Look at the gold contract out here. Gold's trading down 1250. You get 137,000 contracts. Now, what we have is gold yesterday went higher with 118,000. We're going lower at 137. That's telling me we're going to go to the bottom of the consolidation again, and we'll see whether we break it. My take is we're going to break it. And the reason I'm saying this has everything to do with the dollar. So we go over to the dollar. The dollar's... Still hanging tough in its higher range. We got down to 105, 371 today, rejected that area, and I take we're going to the 107 area. We break the 107, we can go a lot higher. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. 10 year note first. What we have with the 10 year note, you're up two ticks. This is just consolidating. It's consolidating this whole area. Now, my, my take is that we're going to. Get down to lower price, higher yield once again. Meaning, I'm talking the next couple of weeks here. Uh, what we had happen intraday. So here, check this out intraday because this was pretty cool. So the 10-year was up about five to six ticks this morning. And when this came down, it came down hard and fast. It came, we were at 110.25. So we were, up, uh, we were up eight ticks, okay? And then what ended up happening is that Canada came out with their inflation numbers, and they were closer to three than two. It was 2.78 or something. That took the bond straight down. And now she's just oscillating, meaning round and round we go. Some of the higher volume equities out here that we have today, NVIDIA's number one. That's up $7, trade one twenty five fifteen. You got uh, Carnival up a buck forty eight seventeen. Uh 80. Let me do it on this one so I can see better. There we go. Most. There we go. You have, uh, let's see, Tesla's up four bucks. You got Apple up two bucks. We got uh, here, this is something cool. So check this out. Pool, P O O L, right? Pool's down $25. Now, pool, they distribute pool supplies, equipment related equipments. Um, and this stock is just getting smoked. And I know you've heard me talk about pools a million times because I put pools in the new homes. And <laughs> uh, I can't wait to call a few pool guys and see if they're going down in price yet. Because the last time that I checked this again, so pool is down from $502 to $311. It's coming down with volume. I suspect it's going to go test, uh, what, $278 or 311 uh, because the pool people have got away with up pricing like beyond belief, beyond belief. And we'll see whether they want business or they want to hold to prices that are outrageous. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 255, NASDAQ's up 203, S&Ps are up 14 and a half. Stay right there, come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. 
This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 249. We get the NASDAQ up 214. S&Ps are up 17. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, hit newsletters. You're going to see it right on the left-hand side, the opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has approximately 12 to 14 archives there, so you understand exactly how he looks at the market every day and exactly how he rides the Chapman wave. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. So this is going to be fascinating. You've got another couple of days to go, and we'll wrap up the month of June. Fast, and huh? <laughs> I, yeah, I just... Oh. I know. So wasn't, it, wasn't it just January? <laughs> Seriously, man. Seriously. 2024. As you get older, just, time just flies. Yeah, that toilet quicker. paper roll is getting smaller and smaller, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. So this is going to be interesting because for quite a while, I've been talking about how the weekly charts remain strong. And that even though on the short term, I've got all these other techniques that I'm looking at that, that are giving me um, kind of – just a sense of what's happening, and, and so far it's been kind of correct. It's those weekly charts, and I thought just I'll take a moment here just to show you what I'm talking about. Look, in the middle chart, that's the weekly chart. So on the left is the daily chart of the Dow. Okay. The middle is the weekly chart. On the right is the monthly chart. I'll get rid of the 120. We don't need it right now. So this 120, so this weekly chart right here, you see this pattern with the cup formation. So there's a pattern that I talk about within a rectangle. There are a number of, I actually have webinars on the different rectangles. There's a narrow rectangle. There's a large rectangle. There's a lopsided rectangle where the rectangle is uh, set, but the low um, is quite quick, and then it starts working its way to the upside. So there are a bunch of things that I look at, and most of the time what I'm looking at is if there is a cup formation, there's a chance that you can go just under, right on, or just above the previous high. And then if it starts to pull back, when you break the halfway marker of the rectangle, you've got to be careful. Well, lo and behold, we've done everything here. So the Dow 
uh, back in March made a high. Let me just check it out. It was 39,889. It pulls back. And what does it do? It goes, it sneaks to a slightly higher high in the weekly chart to 40,077. 40, but it pulls back and it holds the left side low. And one of the things that I do, and here again, I've done um, webinars on this. I talk about it all the time with, with, for my subscribers. We know that this is really important to me. That nine-period moving average, and that's this green line. I think you can see it right there, the little green line yes. above the black line. That's the nine-period moving average over the 14. And even with each of these dips where the Dow weekly chart closed underneath the 14-period moving average so often, the green line remained positive. And look, even here, the green line on this last move three weeks ago and then two weeks ago, the Dow went underneath the 14-period uh, moving average and it still remained green. So what I said is the weekly charts based on my 914, not on the MACD or the stochastic or anything else, but on the 914s, it's, I call it the indicator of last resort because it really can keep you in the in the longer term trade just longer than you would think. So look at this. It's still looking very positive. The week, the daily chart, that's something very different. But now I want you to go to uh, the other indices and show you what's going on. And the reason why, even though we do have short positions, like we have a short position in the S&P, um, I've, I've put the stop in so that we won't take a loss. Uh, we'll see if this is going to work out the same as the, with the SMH as the semiconductor index. But look at the weekly chart, how high it is above the green line, which is the nine period moving average, and how the green line is way above the 14 period moving average. So I have to respect that. So on a very short term basis, I'm anticipating that this digestive phase is going to go on a little bit. You'll see the QQQ, it's pulled back a little bit more than the others. It's gone from 486.86 um, to the low yesterday in the 473 area. It's a little bit higher today, but on the daily chart, nine is over the 14. And the weekly chart, the price is way over the nine. The way the nine is way over the 14. And if I go to the IWM, that's the Russell 2000, that's a little different because it's been making lower lows in the daily. But even on the weekly chart, even though it's been kind of weak, look, the nine right here, if I can show you right there. Is just above the, the 14, so it's green. So even with my emotions saying, you know, we're rotating, we had that sell-off in the Dow, and then the Dow started running, and then we had the sell-off in the uh, other indices. Look at the SMHs. This is the sharpest decline, the same as I've had in quite a while. It's even sharper than the one in, in um, May. It goes all the way back to the one that was in April, and that, that actually was a very big one, going to, uh, down to 198. So at this point, we're fortunate because we shorted the day after the top. But at the same time, I've made the stop very, very tight so that we, we, we have the three times short. We have a position there. But most importantly, this is the one that on the daily basis says, wow, that's a sharp pullback, two, 279 to, um, to the low, even today's of 255. That's quite, quite a deep. And yet, that nine is still positive. And look at the weekly chart. So I think this is a whole process that we've got to be ready for that. Um, we're rotating through the different sectors. How the, if the, for the semis to really become negative, they have to close in the next, I'd say, three to five sessions below uh, 250, I'd say 254. And uh, they're right now at 260. So it's a process that's going on. And I, I spoke to you a couple of weeks ago. I said, Microsoft has this pattern I call it the stalk leg formation, and that the weekly chart says that it should go way above that peak D, and after that, when it pulls back, that's going to be significant. So here we are at peak C in the daily chart at 452.75. I should mention, we are long from 338. It's trading right now at 450. Huge. But, yeah, it's nice. But, but the thing is, here again, look at the divergence. This is Look, at the semiconductors pull back sharply, and yet you've got a couple of these, you know, the, the mega sevens. They're holding well. I mean, this is this is good action. So I'm anticipating that it could go to a leg D above 452.75 in the next day or two. And at that point, I've got to be careful. Then I'm going to say, does this weekly chart, which says that you've got this, I call this a leg, a long leg up. That's the pattern right here. Long leg 
oval body that goes in time, but it must look like an oval, and this looks like an oval, goes to a peak D or an E, and then it pops above the arch, and that's the neck. When the neck starts coming down, that becomes the beak. That's the one that has either, that's the one that you've got to measure. How deep is that beak? And we haven't started the turnaround yet. So Microsoft, in a way, is a kind of a, for me, it's just, it encapsulates it's got the Dow, it's got the S&P, it's got the uh, yes. uh, QQQ, it's got the semi, it, right. not the semis, but it's got the XLK. So I'm watching this very closely. So it's a process. We'll see what happens. <laughs> the day is young. Anything can happen between now and four o'clock. But um, so far, the, the semis are still saying, yep, they're taking a bit of a breather. And I think that's really important. And folks, very easy to get Basil's newsletter, TFNN, newsletters, right, left-hand side, opening call. Baz, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento on Friday, June 14th and Friday, June 28th this month for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LarryJune24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. Sit down. Dow is down 265. Nasdaq's up 231. S&Ps are up 19 and a half. Let's go look at the S&Ps because they just goosed the S&Ps over the highs. 
And you actually get some volume here, man. So let's take a look at this on the E-minis. Sorry, folks. Jeez. Okay, so we take a look at this. Yeah, they just goosed it and it came right back down. But there's volume up there, so now this is going to be a little tug-of-war in a monster way here. Yeah, there's no doubt. Well, no. we'll see where this baby shakes out. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Wood, folks, as we do every, we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at Ord, O-R-D, hyphen, oracle.com. That's Ord, hyphen, oracle.com. Tim Wood, what's going on, brother? Well, there's not a lot going on here. Um, let's take a look at chart one. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the SPYs. And we talked about it, I think, last Thursday, uh, kind of updated this chart, kind of shows you where we are. I don't think anything serious is going on as far as the top is concerned. I know it's, uh, the VIX is kind of going up here. But anyhow, on the chart, I listed the uh, trend closes over the last um, uh, approximately about a month or so. And trend closes above 1.2 show panic. And panic only forms at bottoms. So all those uh, blue trend readings above 1.2, so if the market does pull back, chances are you're going to see the trend jump up again. And when the trend jumps up again above 1.2, that's the support area. Okay. Because now you're having panic. Panic only forms the bottoms. So if the market's going down, it's not panic, and, you know, you're going into abyss. So you want panic. Yes. So, uh, so anyhow, it's it's you got quite a bit of support right below us where we are. The market's kind of dead here. Uh, also, I got going into last Wednesday, and this is on the volume chart. Yeah. Uh, we were up uh, seven days in a row. Right. And uh, that, if you get that moment, much momentum going up, that just doesn't <laughs> shut off. Normally, you get seven days up. Normally, it's actually taking a little bit longer now. It's, it's that I used to say five days. The market will be higher five days, like, 80% of the time, it's starting to be like six or seven days now. So it's a little bit of a change, but it's still going to make a higher highs at some point, probably within the next week. So could a little bit of a rally starting today, maybe. Um, um, it's kind of hard to say here. I think the downside, again, since we had panic in that 535 range on the SPYs, that area is going to act as support. There's also a gap right there. Uh, we may yes. test that gap again. Don't know, uh, but uh, and of course coming up, you know, ahead, coming I'm up, sorry. Uh, well, coming up to the July Fourth holiday, I mean, people like buying stocks for some reason. Well, I can picture why. Let's go America on July Fourth, right? I mean, is it yeah. you know that is normally a bullish time, you know? So yeah, I can see how that yeah. shakes out. Yeah. Yeah, July Fourth. Uh, usually, there's a rally starts around that July Fourth time frame. So it may not be this week, but uh, July 4th is next Thursday, I think it is. Yes. And so probably, you know, late this week, maybe early next week, I think a rally will start and we'll probably hit new highs. Uh, and one of the reasons why is that seven days up in a row last Wednesday. So right. there's another new high coming and, and how high, high, don't know. Um, just let's flip to chart two. Okay. Uh, this is kind of a little warning sign. But this is uh, the weekly, uh, just the SPY, and I just put a Bollinger Band on it. And for some reason, uh, actually, uh, when the market gets too exuberant, this kind of this is on a weekly time frame. So also, it's more important on the monthly time frame. But the weekly time frame also seems to uh, work pretty good. But when the market gets too exuberant and it goes up too fast from the norm, because uh, it's basically the Bollinger Bands, just a 20-day moving average, and the upper and lower Bollinger Bands are two standard deviations from that 20-day average. I see. So okay. It gets, yeah, so it gets too far away from that 20-day average, and there's two deviations away. It runs into the upper Bollinger Band, and I circled the times in the past where that happened. And uh, normally if you get 50% above the upper Bollinger Band, the next week is usually a down week. We're not quite doing that. The last time we got above the mid Bollinger Band, but not 50%, was basically December there of 2023. I got circled yes. in blue there. Yes, I see that. It kind of, 
yeah, I kind of ran into the Bollinger Band and and it, and it kind of took the performance out, and the market kind of not stalled, but it didn't really decline, but it kind of took some of the energy out of the market. We got something similar going on right now, so even though I think we see new highs, maybe, and that'd be about it. And I think you know after July fourth time frame, seasonality is actually bullish. Going into July 4th until two weeks after July 4th that it cool. runs out. That's so funny yeah, you said two weeks. That blows my mind. You know why, Tim? Do you remember? It was July 18th of 1998 that that vicious downdraft started, man. <laughs> oh, that's, that's right. That's right. That is deep. crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if we'll get the downdraft here. Oh no, no, no! Um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I that was a vicious. I'm yeah. not saying that. But that just when I just put that together, I was like, oh my god, I can't because I'll never forget. I mean, that was just a yeah. Anyway, that's wild, man. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, that were we on the radio then, and that's when that downdraft yes. happened. Yes. Yeah. No. That. And yeah, uh, the ticks exactly. were exploding, and it, I think I got to get off the phone because I got to buy some calls. Well, no, that was the no the, the 18th. July 18th was the beginning of it. Okay. And then we rode that down. That the call that you made then that was in. I think the first one was August fifteenth, uh, and then September. Do you know what I'm saying? That that's that's when you bought the calls because we had to go down for like six weeks straight. It was like a razor blade. And then, oh. yeah, when you that, that. But what you said, there's no doubt. That's exactly what happened. That I gotta get off the. And then we were all live, folks. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was fun. So, but anyhow, so we got that. So I'm still. I think in mid July, late July, I, I think you may see some weakness. So right now, I, I think we're fine. Okay. Um, let's see chart three. What well, we got in chart three? Uh, I have okay, the S and P fifty kind of percent above. You to see it really a little bit better. Kind of see where we are. You know, December of last year, we kind of stalled a little bit. So the week of January, the first week of January, was down. So, you know, it's just a blown-up view. You can kind of see what's going on. Yes. But if you get 50% above the mid-Bollinger Band, open, close, in other words, then that's the time, a lot of times, you get reversals that are worthwhile. And, if, you know, the October of 2023, you got more than 50% of that Bollinger Band below it. So that was the bottom. So cool. I hear the music. Yep. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I come right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 279. NASDAQ's up 228. S&P's up 18 and a half. Tim and I come right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. 
That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate the growl and a problem with us out here. Uh, so, Tim, I have the third chart up here. Yeah, let's go to chart four. Okay. I have it. And, uh, okay, it's we kind of looked at this chart before, and this basically tells you the health of the um, of the uh, market basically it's so wh what it, uh, the second window down from the top is a bullish percent index for the gold miners index and I think you looked it up and it's like 30 stocks in that index yes. so not a lot but of those stocks in that index 78 percent of those uh, of those stocks in that index are on point and figure buy signals okay so that what what I'm trying to say is that's a strong situation. Yes. And you like to see it stay above 60, actually preferably between 60 to 95. It gets past 95, and there's too much bullishness, I guess, going on. A lot of times that comes at tops. But we're in an ideal area. If we can stay in this area, which I, I bet we will, uh, then in general this rally continues. So the green areas on the chart show the times when this um, – bullish percent index is above 60%, and the pink areas are when it's below 60%. And a lot of times when it's below 60%, that's where you get declines. But right now, uh, we're kind of just holding here. We showed this chart last week. It's pretty much the same place where it was. So 78% of the stocks in the uh, gold miners index are a buy signal. Nice. So okay. That's a good showing. So that's a healthy market. Let's go to chart five. Okay. And this is... So that's... We, we know about approximately 80% of the stocks are on buy signals now. This measures the up-down volume of advanced client indicators on the uh, GDX uh, ETF, I guess. Yes. So it measures the strength of what how many stocks are advancing and how much up volume compared to down volume. So anyhow, all the blue area when the – are uh, let's see. <laughs> this is a – Okay, I got too many things going on in my head here. But anyhow, let's go. <laughs> the bottom window is the 50-day uh, average of the up-down volume. Okay. And anything above zero is bullish. So uh, the next higher window is the 50-day average of the up-down volume. And anything above uh, zero is bullish. And so the blue area across the chart shows the times when both those indicators are above zero. Right. So, uh, so right now we get a buy signal here back. Uh, it looks like April, first of April, sort of. And so far, uh, it remains above uh, April. So the advance and decline is is steadily going, holding positive, and as long as up volume and compared to down volume is holding positive. So right now, on a fifty day average. This indicator is still on a bicycle. If you notice, we pulled back a little bit, and I got a neckline drawn on the GDX chart, which is the top chart. Yes. And I think this whole pattern is a head and shoulders bottom, where the October of 2022 was the head. Then we completed the right shoulder, and we popped above the neckline here uh, over the last month or two, wherever it is. We're right now back on that neckline. We're sitting right on it. 
And so far, the up-down volume and advanced client indicators are remaining above zero. So if the market's going to support itself, it should do right around the neckline. And I think we're probably doing that. So there's nothing really bearish here uh, unless the market falls below the neckline and both those two indicators fall below zero. Then then you got something else going on, and I don't think that's probably what's going to happen. All right. We are getting because close, though, right? I mean, I'm looking at the – it looks like, the you know, if we look at the – the bottom box, I mean, we made it up to, what, a plus 20, and now we're, like, at five, right? And then Yeah, five. Yeah, and then these right. things. And then markets pulled back for a couple of weeks, too. Oh, so and, uh, yes, right, right, right. Right, cool. so what you don't want to do is see a bunch of weakness on the advanced decline and up-down volume here, and you're not really doing that. It's kind of uh, falling back, and the market has consolidated. So let's flip two charts to six. Okay. Okay, this – so – that was a moving average up-down volume. This is a cumulative uh, up-down volume. Uh, actually, the bottom window is the uh, GDX-GLD ratio. Yes. And you like to see it above mid-Bollinger Band. And so far, it's trending above mid-Bollinger Band. But the ones I'm really watching here, this is a weekly chart. And, and it's a cumulative. Uh, second window up from the bottom is the cumulative advanced decline and up for GDX, the next window higher is the cumulative up-down volume. So it's a little bit different. We're not doing a moving average. We're doing cumulative. Okay. So it's, it's, a, it's a different picture yes. of what the market's doing. So this is this chart actually can go uh, down when the S&Ps are going up, and that's a really a bad sign. And also can, the S&Ps can actually go down and this chart goes up, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Uh, you can't, if you look over the last two weeks, basically mid, I think mid May was a high in GDX, and it's pulled back down uh, so far. So it's, uh, so for about a month, GDX has has been consolidating. And if you look at the uh, second window up from the bottom, this indicator has actually gone sideways. It's not even gone down. It's gone sideways uh, for the advanced decline. So cumulatively, it's actually showing strength because the, the GDX has consolidated, pulled back from eyeballing it here. It looks like about 37 to 33. Right. The, the advanced decline has not pulled back at all. And up-down volume virtually has not declined at all. To me, that's strength. That's pretty cool. So no, no, I'm with you. I, I get that for sure, particularly because... What happens, folks, on this type of thing, that, you know, you can say, yeah, the GDX is pulled back, but when you get the up-down volume, inside of that, that is saying that, as Tim just says, there's strength in there because, uh, you know, the bottom line is that even though we'll pull back, you, you still have a lot of buyers in there, man, cumulatively coming up. Yeah, cool, man. Okay. Yeah, so so you're not weakening here, as, as my uh, trying to point. You know, a lot of people are kind of nervous in here. And I, I'm t seeing strength, so I'm thinking the neckline – to get a sell signal on this weekly indicator, you need a, a, uh, this indicator fall below the mid Bollinger band, and uh, we're not doing that at all. We're all, almost r running into the upper Bollinger band here. We're a little bit what well, we did earlier, but uh, so you know, we're a long way from the mid Bollinger band. The mid Bollinger band's turned up, and that's a good sign. So if you watch the mid Bollinger band, uh, if you go back to um, say the May of 2023, you got a sell, you see that red dot? Yes, line? I do. Yep. Okay. It fell through mid Bollinger, pretty much right at the top there. And it pretty much has been trending down until now. Now the Bollinger band is just starting to turn up. Yeah. Because it, so, it hit the, the low of the Bollinger band on uh, what? Five days ago. Yeah. Right. It's four, five, six, six days ago. Yeah. Well, eight days ago, I guess. It was riding it, and then it came. It's it's right now. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying, man, for sure. Yep. All right. So anyhow, so internal, in, internal. This is actually showing strength. This indicator. So let's flip to. Um, this is a big indicator. This is a monthly chart. This is a, I guess, the holy grail of what the bigger trending is doing. Yes. And as long the monthly chart on the uh, on the up down volume, which is a bottom window. And the top window is the uh, you no know, up down volume, and the bottom window is up down. As long as those two indicators stay above the mid Bollinger band, the bigger trend is up, and that's what's that's, that's what's going on right now. It's a beautiful thing.
Tim Wood, thank you so much, man. You have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to speaking to you on Thursday. All right. See you then, man. Thanks Take care, a lot. Man. Love you. Bye-bye. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors don't forget you can listen to tfnn live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv welcome back folks to dow dow's off 315 nasdaq is up 205 s p's are up 15 and the bottom line looks like we're gonna uh straighten down uh, you know, Close out here, folks. So let's go to the spy first. We'll take a look at the spy. So you're up a buck sixty. You know, yesterday we went to a lower low with what, 35 or oh, 45 million shares, and you're up with 31. So that's telling me that. What is this price here? 545. 13. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is interesting. Okay, so check this out. See this right here? So what we did. Yesterday, you got into the top, the low of the high, and then gave it up on price, light volume. Today, you're, getting, you're doing the same thing. So you're coming into 70 million, and that price point, 548.18, and we got the five, oh, one second, 540, 545, yeah, 545. 18, and we went to 545.12, and with tremendously lighter volume. So that tells me that it's going to have a hard time up at these levels. We go to the Qs, and we know the Qs are stronger, no doubt about that.
The Qs were doing 23 million. We came down yesterday on 37. What's this number? So the high, the low of the high here is 479. Oh, no, 62. Oh, I like it. And we made 479.68. And we're doing this with 23 versus 33. Yeah. That's telling me we're still going to have some weakness in this market. That's, that's how this is, to me, this is shaking out. So it's a tricky market right now, folks. That's the bottom line. You know, you've had, I mean, it's, it's been extraordinary run, but it's a tricky market. We take a look at the dollar. The dollar's hanging tough, man. The longer that hangs tough, the more probability is that that, that 107 is going to be coming at us. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Yeah, look at him, folks.